What's up everyone? Today we got a deck featuring Darkrai V-Star and Galarian Moltres. As always, you can find the deck list in the description below. Let's get started. I actually realized over the last couple videos, I actually prefer to do commentary after I record the gameplay. So that's what I'm going to do moving forward, unless somebody says something about it. Uh, let me know what you prefer, uh, but I prefer recording it and pretending like uh, I'm commenting a live game. So we've got our Darkrai Turbo-ish Darkrai V-Star deck versus what looks like some sort of Maridon build. Um, so we use the Biet Bat blah, blah. we put use the Battle VIP pass to get two Darkrai down. Unfortunately, we do not have an energy. Um, but next turn we can evolve the Darkrai V-Star and use Professor's Research to get a whole new hand. Oddly enough, they use Ultra Ball and get rid of two bosses orders, so that's a big deal for the late game. Um, but for now, we are just trying to get as many energies onto the board as possible. Uh, that would be Greninja, Greninja's ability, discarding some energies, maybe discard some from Professor's Research, and Dark Patch them back onto Dark Cry. So it looks like they're having their classic Maraid on turn one, where they get the Maraid on down. They get a relatively full bench. They got the Raikou in the front, and they've actually electric generated two energies onto the rear Raikou. So what they really want to do is get that into the active, which they probably will. They just played Arvin, so they'll probably be getting what they need and taking out this Greninja, which is not great for us. They get an escape rope. So they're actually, they're not going to be taking a Greninja. They're going for one of the Darkrai, which is also not great. I mean, both paths are pretty bad. They attach the Forest Seal Stone. I assume they're going to save that for later. Um, so yeah, I'm putting my dark, one of my Darkrai's up. And it looks like we might be... Well, we're not going to get knocked out this turn. That much we know. But we may be playing from behind a little bit. So we'll just have to see what we get next turn. It all just relies on this research. And they fill out their bench with another Lecky. Lightning Rondo for 160, it looks like. Maybe 140, but I think it says 160. My screen is much smaller when I'm commenting on this. Anyway, so we evolved the Darkrai V-Star and research, as we said we would. We're going to evolve again. And it looks like we have a few paths that we could choose with the energies. A lot of energy action. So what do we go for? We go for concealed cards, discard one, draw another one. We're probably going to want to play this Moltres to get two energies down at some point, and we are going to Dark Patch. Now we're just checking how many of, of everything we have. We might want to use Dark Cry V-Star's ability sooner than later and get two items back from the discard pile. We do Dark Patch 1 and attach manually, it looks like, another one. Okay, and we activate the V-Star ability to grab two items. We're going to grab a cross switcher and a dark patch. And it looks like we're going to try to cross switch this turn, so that's what we do. We switch out the injured one for the one that can attack. And we're not sure who we want to grab yet. We opt for the Regilecki. And we're not doing a lot of damage right now because we don't have that many... Uh, we don't have that many energies down right now, but we get one more down with Moltres's ability. It gets us up to 120, and that looks like that's the best we're gonna be doing this turn, so. Still not off to a super great start, but it could be worse. Now, they've only got three cards in hand. They might be stuck. That happens a lot with Maridon decks, is just not having the draw support necessary, because you're not getting it from your bench. You don't have a barrel. You're kind of just relying on supporters and hopefully uh, getting attackers up as soon as possible. Now they do have the Forest Seal Stone, so it looks like they're probably going to look for a research. There's no way they looked for that Regilecki. Maybe that's what they did. Well, they're Fleet Footing first for one more card. One more energy onto the other Raikou. And they attack, so yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what they got with the four seal stone, but I imagine it could not have been that lucky. All right, we draw an energy. So we can use Greninja's ability one more time, and that synchronizes perfectly with the dark patch. We also have another one in hand, so we like what we see. We're gonna go ahead and Trekking Shoes first. Another one, do we want another one? Let's check some things out. And we decide that we do not want it. Get it into the discard pile. 
Now we've already used our V-Star ability, so it's not like we can grab a couple Dark Patches again, but that would be great. But we're gonna go ahead and Dark Patch one of those energies into the field of play onto the Darkrai with some damage on him. Still not doing the amount that we need. What is the best course of action? Probably to manually attach and then to research, right? So, huh? come on, what are we thinking about here? I think we're looking at the available items. Okay, so we can Ultra Ball for another Galarian Moltres and get it on the field and use its ability to attach these two energies in our hand. So I imagine that's what we're gonna do, but we do have to discard two resources. So I think we're kind of trying to figure out which ones are not gonna be as useful. Now, I don't remember what I did here. Okay, so it looks like I am Ultra Balling first and probably Puku Muku and Darkrai. I get rid of the Clara. I don't agree with that. Future Pat does not agree with Past Pat because you can Clara a couple of Galarian Moltreses and energies back into your hand for the late game. So not sure why I made that error, but that's what I decided to do. I don't think we're gonna see another Darkrai V-Star and play this game. I think we've got our, our attackers on the board right now. So how much damage are we doing now? Enough to party. So we go ahead and knock out this Raikou. So that was a pretty sick turn. We got a lot of energies on the board in one turn. Grab our two prizes, got another energy. Nest Ball is not really gonna be seeing any action at this point in the game. Of course, they opt to put the Lucky VMAX in the front because it has no retreat, but it looks like they're stuck. Like what I was talking about last turn, it looks like they're stuck with these three cards and they have no energies. Okay, they Ultra Ball, maybe a Luminion. So they, yeah, so they used their four seal stone to evolve that Lecky, which didn't even help to knock out my Darkrai. So I would have, you know, gotten Professor's Research with that, but that's what they chose to do. They do have the Dynamotor, excuse me, the Dynamotor Flaffy onto the board. So they have set up an attack with Raikou and they'll draw one more card with its ability but they gotta be super lucky, and they are. They've got the Professor's Research off the top deck, heart of the cards, we got a game, they're back in it. Dropping another Raikou, looks like that's gonna be their main attacker for the remainder of the game, but I think we're already ahead on the prize race, now they've tied it up, but I think we're where we wanna be if we can get sufficient energies down. So we're our strategy is to get both Darkrai knocked out, get as much as we can out of them, and then late game, attack with the Galarian Moltres, uh, whose ability says it's 20 plus 50 for each prize card your opponent has taken, so it's a perfect late game card. Uh, that is basically textbook what this deck is about, is attack early with Darkrai, turbo energies down, uh, didn't even get to see the Galarian Moltres V in this game, but that's part of that strategy as well. And then late game, attack with the Galarian Moltres, the one prize version. So we're nest balling for I think putting that down would be a liability. Yeah, so we opt to just nest ball for nothing. Attach an energy to one of the Moltres. And I, yep, probably Greninja. Yep, there it is. Got plenty of energies in hand, so why not discard? And we get the Dark Patch and another energy. That was perfect. Not quite doing enough yet. We'll Dark Patch one more down. And that is enough. So we will get two more prize cards from this Raikou. And at this point, I would probably consider the game over because we're ahead in the prize race. I'm struggling to grab that second prize. We're ahead in the prize race. And what are they gonna do? Boss up my Galarian Moltres? Well, maybe, but uh, that leaves Darkrai still around. Um, and they're not going to boss the Moltres likely because early, if we remember first turn, they discarded two bosses orders with Ultra Ball. So I don't believe they have the third boss. Uh, Serena's not going to work, obviously. Now there is escape ropes, that kind of thing. But at this point, we're feeling pretty good. Of course, they do have a fresh hand from that research. And they Dynamotor, and they have another Raikou set up. And that'll be the final two prize cards for us, unless something super wacky happens. 
So they retreat the Leki and promote the Raikou. And they'll be attacking for what, 120? Well, they'll be attacking for a lot. They're going to knock out this Darkrai. First, they opt to draw a card with Fleet Footed. What will they do? Attach another energy for next turn, I suppose. A next turn that will not be happening because once they knock out this Darkrai and take two prizes, our Moltres will now be doing 220. Four times 50 plus 20, 220. So that'll be game. We'll draw a card. Will we slow play? I guess we will because we're a jerk. You gotta attach just in case and we'll go for the knockout for game. So sort of a textbook version of how this should work with this deck. Looks like we have a little bit different of a start from last game. We have the Glary Moltres V in the active. So we will be needing to get Greninja down probably. Yep, there it is, because we want to get Darkness energies into the discard in order to maximize Galarian Moltres V's ability, which is to get one energy per turn from the discard and attach it to this Pokemon. So a little bit of a turbo action going on. Now we Pokestop. And what do we discard? We discard a Research and a Darkrai V. Not great. That's the double-edged sword nature of Pokestop. Now we have two cards in our hand, two basic Pokemon we don't want to play because their abilities are not going to be useful this turn. So we just say, it's your turn. At this point, we're just, we want to see what we are going up against. All they've shown is the Bidoof. That doesn't tell us much. We have both have great taste in card sleeves with the Darkrai ETB. Uh, they lose a Squovit, so if they run one, say goodbye to that Squovit barrel combo, which is helpful for us, that will hinder them in getting exactly what they need. But they do Nest Ball and reveal what deck this is. Uh, spoiler alert, it is a Miss Magius spread deck with, I think, Lunala or something like that. It was a pretty sick deck that i haven't seen would love to make my own version of it big props to this person because i love seeing uh people cook up spice and this was a spicy deck for sure so we ultra ball and roxanne is fake so we're gonna go ahead and just discard her because it's not a real card we drop dark IV, and i guess we poke a stop one more time and what do we get one trekking shoes and that's one set of dark cries in the discard now Darkrai V and a Darkrai V star. We do get one energy in our hand. We haven't used Greninja yet, so I think that's what that's for, and it is. Get another energy in the Temple of Sinnoh, which probably won't be doing much this game because I do not anticipate this deck to be using special energy. But we do use Galarian Moltres V's ability, get one more energy from the discard onto it, get Dark Patch, one more energy onto the Darkrai V, attach manually, one more darkness energy. One moment. Sorry, I had a cough. Okay, drop the Luminion, grab a supporter. That supporter will be research because this hand is junk. So we discard it, get a whole new one, tons of trekking shoes, some other stuff that is not super useful like Lost Vacuum and Battle VIP Pass. But that's life. Another energy off the top with the trekking shoes. We say, nope, get that in the discard. Maybe we could grab it later. Heavy ball into a Galarian Moltres. Interesting. So that's in hand. Can that help us accelerate at some point? Now, I don't know everyone's philosophy on this. If you have a trekking shoes in your hand, should you use it? Should you save it? What do you think? I'm not sure. I was just like, let me save it for later. I don't think there's much more we can do with this turn, so let's just take the knockout and move on. Now, at this point, we're feeling good, but if memory serves, this game actually got super interesting from this point. Mostly because I had no idea what the Miss Magius did or what their strategy was. Uh, I don't know everything. They do lose the Radiant Alakazam. That's pretty big. Uh, I actually didn't notice that when I was playing the game, that they lost that Radiant Alakazam, but I'm happy they did. They fog crystal into something. Let me take a sip of water. And they grab the... Don't know what that Pokemon is. My little screen right now is too small, but basically it is the pre-evolved pre version of Lunala, I think. 
So sorry, I don't know every Pokemon's name. I forgot. And I can't, still can't see it. Screen is still too tiny for me. But they put it in play. They attach one Psychic Energy because Miss Magius' attack only takes one energy and spreads 20 damage throughout the whole side of my board. Now we do get the Dark Cry V-Star. That is pretty cool. Uh, at that point, our computer started freaking out because, I don't know, PTCL, PTCGL reasons. So, why not? Let's go ahead and Trekking Shoes. We say no to the Darkrai, grab another energy, and... Well, we've got two in hand. Do we want to do Galarian Moltres? Not yet, but we will probably grab this Dark Patch, and we do because Dark Patch rules. Drop the Galarian Moltres, maximizing its ability, getting two energies onto the board. So once this Galarian Moltres V is, uh, is knocked out, we'll still have energies on the board. But... Are we ready for whatever spice they have? Now we choose to Lost Vacuum away the Poke Stop. I guess we want to stop them from benefiting from it because we're like, hey, we just knocked out the Magius. All you've got is this little dweeb in the back. What are you going to do? I've got you cornered. We'll take our prize. Now I've always felt like if you don't run Poke Stop in your deck, you probably just shouldn't use its ability because it's always going to bite you in the butt. It's going to discard whatever evolved Pokemon you need. It's going to discard your professor's research, your boss's orders. So they evolved into Lunala. And I'm trying to read what this does. And it won't let me. So <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember. But uh, it was pretty crazy. And it knocked out my Pokemon and... Spread some damage. I would recommend someone pause the game when that happened and read the ability. Again, sorry, my screen's too tiny right now. I can't read what it does, but I realized at this point this was some sort of weird little spread damage thing and I was like, I gotta get out of here. I gotta end this game as soon as possible. Luckily, uh, they're not really able to keep up with us at this point because we're taking one hit knockouts on these uh, small one prizers and they weren't able to fill their board up super great. But they did take two prize cards, so, you know, I'm definitely worried and just want to get the heck out of here. They do drop the barrel, and of course a deck like this is going to be running the Rescue Stretcher, and they're going to grab two 90 HP or less Pokemon from their discard pile and putting it into their hand. Will this be a set of Ghost Ladies? There is a Squovit. No, they grabbed the Squovit. That's what they grabbed because they lost that early game. And they dropped a Miss Mistrubus. So those are probably the two Pokemon they grabbed. I wish they would have shown it to us, but it, they just pull them out. Now this reeks of desperation. They Squovit. They got one card. It is a Nest Ball. What is that going to do for you guys? A Mistrubus. Okay. So at this point, we're feeling good. They can't attack. It's our turn. We can attack. We're not doing a lot of damage based on the energies on the board, but we're doing enough to party because it's a one prize deck. We go ahead and cross switch into probably the barrel. Just we don't want them top decking and getting that beaver draw support. And Galarian Moltres, we usually won't use it this early in game, but because they're one prizers, we'll take the 120 damage. We'll knock it out. We'll get the prize and hopefully we'll just keep them stuck. They have a hard choice to make. Which mischievous do they want to put in the front? They choose the Miss Magius, actually. I didn't notice. I thought they were all mischievous. They draw one card, and it is a Bruno. Heart of the cards again strikes. They get a fresh hand, but will it be enough? I've only got two prizes left to take. Haven't used the V-Star ability. Got a cross switcher in hand and an Ultra Ball. Only two attackers, but... They're both going to be staying on the field at the end of this turn, most likely. Now they Ultra Ball 4. Thinking super hard, probably another Ghost. Yes, there it is, another Miss Magius. Miss Magius, Miss Magius, what do you say? I used to say Miss Magius, now I say Miss Magius. They Heart of the Cards again with Squovit. Will it be an energy? It won't be. 
And at this point, I will expect a scoop. Yep, there it is. But kudos to you. That was an awesome deck. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more Pokemon TCG gameplay, check out this video. As always, you can find the deck list in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.